A wealthy businessman who secretly filmed himself having sex with a woman has been ordered to pay her £500 in damages. Alistair Chase, who works as a director for his parents' property management company, had set up a hidden camera in the lounge of his home in Hartford, Cheshire. The woman reported him to police after discovering the footage on Chase's mobile phone when she met him again following the liaison. At Chester Magistrate's court, the 43-year-old pleaded guilty to one charge of voyeurism. His barrister said he had difficulties establishing healthy relationships with women. Chase was ordered to pay £500 and sentenced to a 12-month community order with requirements that he undertake 250 hours of unpaid work and 20 days of rehabilitation with the probation service. He was also handed a two-year restraining order and told he needed to sign in the sex offenders register for five years. Selfish sense of entitlement. Sentencing him, J.P. Fiona Crane said, because of the impact on the victim. The custody threshold has been passed, but you have no previous convictions and because of your early guilty plea we are imposing a community order. They ordered that Chase's mobile phone and two laptops be confiscated. In a victim impact statement, the woman, who cannot be named for legal reasons, said she had been left struggling to sleep and suffered nightmares about him attending her home and watching her sleep. She said she had been left so traumatized by the incident that she was forced to take months off work and was now paying for ongoing counseling and therapy. He told me he was a shy and private person who was fortunate to have a privileged lifestyle due to his parents. She added. He does not have a mortgage himself and clearly has a selfish sense of entitlement. Worst experience of my life. This has been incredibly traumatic and has been the worst experience of my life. It was traumatic to be watching those intimate private moments. She added. I feel ashamed for allowing this manipulative man into my life. This has been the most difficult and harrowing experience for me. She said police had told her the hidden camera was still in situ at the time of his arrest. Outlining the case, Lucy McGowan, prosecuting, said, The complainant contacted police to report that the defendant had filmed her without her consent having sexual intercourse with him. The two videos were of them engaging in oral and penetrative sex in the living room at his home, and the complainant handed the mobile phone to the police, recording intimate moments for himself. In a police interview, Chase provided a pre-prepared statement saying, except I filmed myself and the victim engaging in sexual activity without her consent. They were kept solely for my own enjoyment. I regret doing this and I apologize for doing so. In mitigation, his lawyer Martha Whitehead said, he is someone who has had difficulties during his 20s and 30s in establishing healthy relationships with others. He said this was a way of recording intimate moments for himself and there is no suggestion of any distribution. He accepted his actions and apologized. She added, we accept that the impact on this complainant is significant, but you must also look in detail at the background of this defendant.